as you guys, as I, I tell you guys, you know, a lot of times I kind of go through the Bible and some things kind of leap off a page at me. And this one particular week, I was going through John, you know, the, the beginnings of the New Testament. And one thing that I noticed that in uh, John uh, and Matthew, I think it is, what it's saying is they were come together when they were uh, instituting the Lord's Supper. And one of the things that Jesus was saying is that one of you guys are going to betray me. Everyone wants to know who it is. And in a couple of the, the, the viewpoints, it says that he, Jesus says, it's the one who dips his hand in the dish with me as we eat. But in John 13, 26, I think it is, I don't have my glasses, but around John 13, 26, when someone asked him, who is it that's going to betray us? What he says is, it's the one that I give sop. Sop meaning that, that they eat with their hands. And I find it very hard to believe that he actually used the bread to dip into a dish and then handed it to him. It kind of plays out in my head that he actually dipped it in a dish and actually put it in his mouth like a parent does a child. So my question is this. How could you, knowing full well that somebody's going to betray you, actually feed them from your hand like a parent does a child? That is just absolutely mind-blowing to me, that that right there is what we're, our leadership. That's what it is that we have to attain to. And that's one of the things that we are commanded to attain to. That's, that's, this is what our role model is, if you will. And that is very large shoes as far as I'm concerned. That's what I kind of got out of that. And going to that, where he institutes the Lord's Supper, in Matthew 26, verses 26 through 29, he says, As they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and break it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. If you will, go with me in prayer for the bread. Heavenly Father, thank you once again for allowing us to all be a part of this that you have set, us, set up for us. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving of your Son in order to be the one and only Savior for the remission of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And if you will, go with me in prayer for the blood. Heavenly Father, thank you once again for bringing us all here. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for instituting this. That is what we are to follow in order for us to be saved. And thank you, Jesus, for giving of your, your blood and dying on the cross so that we may be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.